All right, warriors, let's do a breathing exercise. It's going to take five seconds, five Mississippi. We're going to breathe in deep, hold it, and then release together. And, and don't hold it like holding your breath like underwater. As soon as you get to that point where your lungs at capacity, pay attention to it, pay attention. As soon as it gets to that little threshold of the itchy, itchy, start to release it slowly, okay? And that way you're concentrating on every effort for that moment and you're releasing thought. Kind of giving you a taste of what the idea feels like, right? It's at that moment that you're able to transition from feelings, temporary feelings, and emotions to your logical state. Uh, you're starting to realize that it's best to consult with experience and logic, intuition, uh, than it is to pay attention to the feelings becoming reactive. See, narcissists understand the principle of this psyche because it's what worked with them for so long and they're inevitably able to adapt and overcome and engage this and weaponize it against others for their own gains to make them feel normal. Boys, let's take five seconds to take a badass walk on the beach and do this breathing exercise. We're going to talk about how narcissists are squirrels. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're providing a community service. They, they, they sure are. And, and we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. And we're going to talk about what they actually care about. Because in order to apply defensive tactics against narcissists, you got to first figure out what do they like? What is it they're protecting? Five seconds, man. Let's do this. Release slowly. All right. Shake that shit off, y'all. Shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Look, look at here. Narcissists ain't loyal. They ain't loyal. And when I tell you they're like a squirrel, it, it, they, they fucking around gathering nuts. They gather nuts from the community. And look at here, look at here. As nut collectors, they are providing a service because who are their customers? Whether they charge it or not, because some give the booger for free, some waving their wand out there for anyone to sit on. So, but understand, they they need each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, these aren't polar opposites. See, like the narcissist empath paradigm are polar opposites. You're forcing something to come together that ain't supposed to be together. And narcissists are alike. So they stick together. And it's a very toxic situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When them two come together, uh, yeah, I don't care if it's two carpet burners or two wands having a sword fight. You know what I'm saying? It's why they're so Confucius. It's because... They, in their nut collecting, are doing what comes normal to them. self gratification, No self-control. And it, 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 what happens is, while they're providing this public service, Air 9, again, some of us wandered off into their playground. And, it, yeah, now you doing shit like uh, a, a promise to self. And if you haven't, I challenge you this. Promise to self to no longer be anywhere where you ain't appreciated. Note to self to never settle for fake comfort and discomfort. For putting on respect to disrespect. Challenge to self. See yourself out gracefully and with diplomacy. And look, look. If you have to fucking fake sick. I don't know. Y'all ever heard of that shit called Nutella? Nutella? Get you a Ziploc baggie full of Nutella. And there and again. If something. Just splatter that shit. And run like you embarrassed. Look. Ain't no shade. When it comes to your life. 
don't wait for those kind of extremes to you end up looking down the barrel of a fucking gun with a dumbass narcissist on the trigger. Warriors, well, no more scrubs. You're applying narcissist logic to the narcissist. The difference is you're living up to those standards. You're now knowing and understanding full well what your equal means. And it don't matter what gender. A scrub is a scrub. What is it narcissists actually care about, Joe? Well, first thing is their self-image, isn't it? They spent a lifetime creating this self-image, this false mask, or a multitude of different masks. Mastering. Recalling the memory, the lies of each mask that they sport. That takes a lot of work, a lot of investment in time. So, of course, they're going to defend that. And then it's, let me tell you something. Money and reputation go hand in hand. You add leverage to that, that's the narcissist's utopia. Because, look, narcissists value not only self-image, but supply. Because supply puts a narcissist in the position of, see, I got proof. I'm wanted. And people will tolerate misbehavior and toxic tactics and ways for wealth or riches or a lifestyle. But see, narcissists are now figuring out too. Uh, yeah, the empathy that they once had from someone, genuine, now they're only attracting their own kind. See, folks are waking up not getting in their way. And it don't matter how much they try to shame you, insult you, ridicule you, you're not drinking the Kool-Aid. No one is. Look, Narcissists know full well they're deploying this tactic now. You're seeing the thirst and the desperation because narcissists know full well that for a good bit, the accusation was worse than the crime they were being accused of. And so they were deploying this in order to distract the attention from the own shit show that they were having on the download. Well, see, now people are asking questions. But what did you do? See, ain't nobody just throwing trust around like that no more. So-and-so's in jail. What's he in there for? What'd she do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, consequence... Is, is 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 now being investigated. People are tired and now have opened their eyes to how big it's gotten gotten away with, with, with misinformation by narcissism itself and power and greed and money. And let me tell you, narcissists fear being broke about as much as they fear death. I shit you not. Let me tell you something. They Narcissists realize that with more money, they have more control over more people. They have more access. People actually come to them. You don't have to go and seek out vulnerable people. They come to you when it comes to having money and power. So narcissists leverage this to keep people stuck to them. It's why they'll choose people in financial disparity. Not they're equal. No, no. Someone that they can hoard a financial a financial future that they would control. That would hoard it over you. Now, 
narcissists fuel and just a rounded about way is this narcissist supply is a narcissist fuel for life because they need someone to be cheering their corner either you or a multitude or a harem or a following of people and you've seen this kind of like the culture in the car business uh, you kind of see a culture where general sales managers GSMs and GMs whenever they go to another dealer they get fired to go to another dealer they'll have a following of people in finance that follow them, fixed operations, uh, accounting, HR, sales teams, and some, if they're that in tune with their team, built it so much that even technicians will follow. So understand that there, there, there's a political dynamic in the narcissistic behavioral traits where they have this sort of charm and charisma but money and powers what influences the following you can kind of see these traits even in certain religions the way they punish said congregation right and, and the way they discriminate or gang stock the tactics a narcissistic playbook can be almost outlined within certain religions or faiths and, and how they handle their so-called church business right uh what they call the disfellowshipping tactics well that, what is that discard to strip you of everything friends family life dream future totally strip you of a life that you once knew to punish you force you back into alignment Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that free will or a tactic? Look, it's a self-image. But narcissists fear losing more than anything. Power, going broke, and death. They don't want to talk about it. Because if they don't talk about it, it never happened. And they don't know why you don't feel the same way. You know. Oh, and you'll get your opportunity. Because they're going to come back. Every one of them. Feels like they got to test you. And, 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 and look. Don't get me wrong. They need to blow air up their own ass. And to prove that they still got it like that. Getting you back. Pff, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, let me tell you what happens if you deflate that ego. <laughs> You'll know if a narcissist is intimidatious by you. By the amount of flying monkeys they send towards you. Because they know that what you have to say will cut them. Ooh. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. They'd rather put their lips up a baboon's ass than to have to go through that kind of mortification. Yeah, yeah, they'll go date a fat chick or something. <laughs> they say they aren't high maintenance, but they need constant attention and affirmation. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to read. We're going to read some big mistakes, big mistakes. Things that we need to go over, man, pay attention to. Look at yonder. Pops zits at stoplights. Wow. They say you need to be smart or pretty. It's a good thing they're pretty. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Mm-hmm. Pretty privilege. Mm -hmm. go, go around sticking your dick in crazy. Want someone to share their entire life with who will leave them alone most of the time. <laughs> oh, dang it, man. That's rich. That is rich. Loves reaching the stage in the relationship where they're not embarrassed to pick their nose. Whipping out them crispies. Dang it. You be sure and save them now. That's, that's for the stew. Good stew meat. Believes the Ouija board is accurate. 
look y'all what this is what kills me how people gonna believe in the black arts and evil incarnate and worship the dark arts but refuse to believe that something created that that there's no God to believe in blows my mind gets all their recipe ideas from talk 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 mm -hmm. five second chicken they can carry on the conversations made up entirely of movie quotes you can't handle the truth they are in an, in an open marriage And only one of them knows it is usually how most of y'all come into the term of learning narcissists, narcissisms, narcissisms, mm -hmm. hate your family. Dang it, man. Time for the isolation. Mm -hmm. The horse is moving across the board. It's just a matter of time before they add its syndrome after their name. <laughs> and wants a relationship kept secret because it's a relationship y'all it's a relationship <laughs> let's check out the fortress check out the fortress thing this one don't want to come out <laughs> y'all the birds are waiting they want their cookies you want your cookies. All right. Romance moves you in a new direction. Does it now? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't be losing it. Drizzle, drizzle. Y'all heard? Y'all seen that? It's gone virus. The drizzle, drizzle. Uh huh. Let me tell you something. <laughs> uh uh. Be coming at me like that, all broke. You better put a rack in my PayPal to act like you're gonna entertain, like, like to wait in line to. That reverse narcology is playing out like a fiddle, isn't it? It's got the. It's got folks stirred up. Stirred up. Uh-huh. Mm -mm. I'm going to think of me some drizzle drizzle. For the finizzle yizzle. Dizzle whizzle. I'm going to have to call Snoop. We're going to get lyrical. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Thanks for your support, y'all. I appreciate it. It's never goodbye. It's always until next time. I get out there and fucking own it. Look. Narcissist. Are facing consequence. Stay out their way. They've done convinced themselves that the service they provide, collecting and delivering nuts, they've convinced each one to the other in their own way that they're providing the public a service. And they are, they are. Because they're not out there fucking with you you understand stay gone long enough for them to accumulate enough bad debt from pillow talk that you're now the least of their fucking worries they got no time cause they too damn broke trying to chase the bag don't matter if it's a man or a woman. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's never goodbye, warriors. Always until next time. Namaste.
It could stand to be like a little more faster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I know, I'm it's more braver so exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Jesse, what are you doing today? We're gonna skydive today. We're gonna Leap sky of faith. <laughs> Leap of faith. Hey, that's what this is. Doing it for the tribe, the that's... warrior tribe. Do you know how high we're going? Did 14, they tell you? 14,500 feet. Close. 14,500 feet, yep. And then we're going to be right. falling at? A high rate of speed. <laughs> very fast. We're going to be falling very fast. We're going to be falling gonna at be 100, high. 120 miles an hour. Sweet. Have you ever gone that fast before? No, I have not. Okay, are you ready to go that fast? I'm ready. Okay. We're going to do it today. <laughs> you got my back. Yep. Oh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get your face, but you know, your TI will have your All back. Right. What All right. made you want to skydive? What what brought you here today? Facing fear. Yeah? Are you afraid of Facing heights? Facing fear, head on. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm afraid of not trying new hey, opportunities. There you go. I'm afraid of living in the woulda, shoulda, coulda. And I'm not going to do it. Lead and live by example. There you go. You heard it here first from Jesse. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Woo! Close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways to my shadow turns the sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on and on we'll go sword fight, so I guess we'll have to call it a draw. There you go. We'll have to do it again. <laughs> Alright, when are you going to get your license now? I'm going to work on it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll well, be back. Jesse, right. thank you for jumping with us to Scott oh, Lone Star. Do you have anything you'd like to mine. say? What an honor. Badass crew. I love it here. The hospitality is just phenomenal. Five stars. If there were ten, I'd give it to you. We'll take ten. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> My brother! Oh, what a fun ride, wasn't it Hey awesome? man, glad y'all came out. Come and see us again. Thank you.